Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is for Dr. P's Digital Media Literacy course. And this week we talked about phone addiction and how this generation, we can't seem to live without our phones. <laughs> so because of that, this week our assignment was to have a phone detox for 24 hours. I will tell you now that I did fail <laughs> pretty quickly actually, uh, but I had a good start but I still ended up failing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Also, a disclaimer, I'm filming this on Halloween. So, happy Halloween. Um, so, with this phone detox, I realized I do have an addiction to my phone. In fact, this was my screen time for the past week, and I saw on Sunday that I actually went up 20%. It was already at like eight hours, so, that was a little bit concerning to me, but I do think most of my time is spent on messages, communicating with people, especially with my extracurricular activities. So I'm not hating on myself that much with that. Um, I did have to restart my detox twice. The first time, it was going pretty well because my phone died and it was dead for a good six hours my charger broke and so maybe this is god telling me that this detox was needed because i was going a little bit crazy i felt like i was itching to grab my phone and text someone or my brain was like gotta get a notification from instagram who is trying to contact me right now so yeah <laughs> uh, so that was pretty much my experience with the first try because as soon as my phone charged, as soon as I was able to borrow a charger from someone, I was on my phone. So the second time around, I did give my phone to my friend. I was like, hold on to this for me because I'm going to want to reach for it. He did have to tell me no a couple times because I did ask to see my phone a few times. But it's fine. I actually learned through this experience I have much better things to do. I was reading, I was trying to do crossword puzzles, just anything to keep my mind entertained because I just, it's just bad. It's bad, y'all. It's actually kind of embarrassing for how bad I'm addicted to my phone. However, after going through this experience, I realized that I do want to start taking time away from my phone, especially before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. I I want to go to the library and get more books so I can have books in my dorm because I have nothing here. So really my only source of entertainment is my phone and or computer. And I'm kind of putting my computer with my phone because I can still use that to communicate people and still use that to get on social media. So I'm kind of incorporating the both of those in my little new detox. Um, I mostly just want to break this addiction. <laughs> I've also been putting my phone in Do Not Disturb, and I used to have a thing against Do Not Disturb because who wants to be calling people twice? But I've been doing it so I don't hear the vibrations, or sorry, feel the vibrations, or hear the little ding when I get a notification. Because as soon as that is happening, I'm grabbing my phone in less than three seconds. It's bad. <laughs> but I'm trying to break that addiction. And my goal is to have my screen time go down by a pretty large percentage. I even have a very specific idea because I don't know how much I can do, but that is my goal. And yeah, I did fail again, because I just had my phone and was trying to talk to people all the time. So through this experience, I realized I have a phone addiction. And admitting it is the first step. So I'm not too mad at myself about this whole journey. So yeah, hopefully in the future, I do so much better. Thank you guys for watching this week's vlog for Dr. P's Digital Media Literacy class. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.